What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and I'm back with another Mars in the Sign video. So, tonight, we're going to be discussing Mars in the Sign of Aries. So, now, first, let's address Mars and what Mars is all about. Mars is about sexual energy. It's about being hot. It's about being steamy. But it also has to do with our drive, obtaining the goal, and the way that we take action. It has a lot to do with our fighting spirit, our warrior soul, okay? It's very much inclined to um, survival mode, our instincts, you know, the way that we're prepared and fully equipped to take action out into the world, okay? And even in the bad realm. So now... Aries. Aries is the sign that's ruled by Mars, okay? So I don't have to go into what their ruling planet is because I just did that, okay? So now, Aries is the sign of being independent, being in a role of leadership, obtaining a goal, okay? These people are very much passionate. It's a fire sign. So they are driven towards goals, okay? Very competitive. These people are very competitive. They love a good challenge, and they're not afraid to take action. So now Aries is the ruler of the first house in our natal birth chart. The first house has to do with self-image and self-preparation. It also... Um, shows us our soul. Kind of similar to the moon. The moon shows us our soul also, but it's on a deeper, hidden level, and only people can know that nature if they know you. But with the Aries, okay, and the first house, it has to do with your soul, okay? But it's about how people look at you and perceive you um, from out into the world, just looking at you from the outer, not the inner, okay? So, Aries is the sign of I am, okay? So, it does have that element of being self-absorbed, okay? Being about yourself, making sure you are good, making sure you are okay and things are intact as far as you. So, we're about to jump right into this. Mars and Aries, okay? Women and men, these people um, are very highly um, assertive. These people definitely know how to take action. They're not afraid of confrontation. They are fully equipped and capable. They have the ability to be able to tackle things on, head on, okay? Confrontation, business, relationships, friendships, family, they know how to speak up and speak out, okay? Something's bothering them, they cannot just wait on it. They're going to tell you right now, these people are very blunt, okay? So a lot of times people can look at these people as being very, very aggressive, okay? <laughs> they can look at these people as being aggressive. If it's a woman, they could look at it like she's trying to be my mom. If it's a man, they could look at it like he's trying to be my dad. Because these people have a tone to their voice when they speak, okay? Like I said, it's all about um, leadership and, and these roles. So even in their speech, it will come out and be interpreted into... Um, you're trying to tell me what to do. A lot of times people could think that these people are trying to tell them what to do or boss them around, okay? But a lot of times it's just the way that they are just speaking out the information. Mm -hmm. Mm. So now, Mars and Aries, women and men, these people, um, anything that they set their mind out to do, Okay, they can do. So, 
if it's somebody that they're interested in and they see a guy or they see a girl, they're not afraid or ashamed to um, approach you, come at you, tell you that they feeling you, telling you that they want to holler at you. These people know how to get what they want, okay? They love the chase and they love a good challenge, okay? Things that take on and go on with them can also be very challenging to them, but they are ready for it, okay? So they want to win. If it's a relationship, they want to win your heart. Okay, if you're in a relationship, they want to win you completely over. If it's a business, owning a business, at a career, they want to win that high position. I'm the manager. I'm the boss. They want this shit. They want it. Definitely with these people, um, they are very passionate inside their souls and a lot of times these people women and men can very much feel like with inside their cells that they are very much connected to god they could feel like i am connected to the universe they feel like they do hold with inside their cells some kind of light okay and these people are actually um a force to be reckoned with, okay? They have that drive, that passion to come and tackle on situations when things arise, when an opportunity is presented. These people don't wait around. They get on the shit, okay? They about their money. They about their paper, okay? They about obtaining success all the time. Ain't no some of the time. It's all the time with them. Okay? So now, they do love compliments. And they do love that boost of the ego, the energy. Okay? Um, the first house does also have to do with ego. So, they can be a little bit on that ego tripping. So, they do want to hear it. But it's not like with Leo. Leo really seeks out the compliments and they really feel like they need it but with Aries they don't feel like they need it they just want it they like it you know the shit is good to me I want to hear that you know so it's not about the need though mm -mm. but they do like it okay they also do want to very much feel um desired okay so whoever they're dealing with if it's a marriage, a relationship, or just a casual dating, they want the person to be like, you know, drawn to them and, and say things to them that make them, you know, want to do all the nasty, crazy things that they're thinking about in their mind, okay? These people can also um, have a lot of confrontations and arguments with partners, okay, with friends, but I'm about to speak from with partners. They can um, start these arguments, pick these arguments out, just say a whole bunch of shit, even if they're not starting it, and they just happen to just be arguing with you. They want you to argue back. They want you to fight the fuck back, okay? They don't want you to hold it inside and repress it and not say shit. That's a fucking turn off. They want you to fight for what you're saying that you want. They want you to fight for what you're saying that you love, okay? Because to them, this is what I love. This is how I feel, okay? Because it's about I am, okay? So this is what they would do, and this is what they would prefer you to do. So they would prefer to argue with you, get the shit out off their chest, you say what you have to say, and then y'all can go and be, um fucking for hours and, you know, doing rounds and rounds. These people um, need that um, outlet, you know. They're about uh, being very physical, taking on action. So being proactive, being active. So sex to them very much is a um, physical action that they love to take pleasure in. Okay, these are very well the type of people that can um, just sit and think about sex 
um, a lot of times throughout the day just about what they would do and how they would do it and what they would do to you and what you would do to them. These people are these type of people. And then when they see you, they go and do the shit. Okay? Everything they thought of. And they want to go rounds. They want to go rounds with your ass. Ain't no one. You going to sleep? What? Huh, ain't no going to sleep tonight. Ain't no going to sleep tonight with them. Okay? Because I wake your ass up. And we'll be back at it. So these are these type of people. <clears throat> also, these people can also get a rise out of um, having makeup sex. They can go back and forth with you, and they will be highly upset, highly disgusted if you just decided, you know what, I ain't going to argue, I'm just going to leave, and then you leave, and then they called you, and you didn't answer, and shit like that. They will be mad about that, because they would have preferred you, okay, they would have preferred you to just have dealt with the storm right now, and then we can um, make up. Okay, they are very impulsive. So anything that goes on with them, if they feel in the way or um, they didn't like something, these people can very much um, express this out to you forwardly. They're very forward. Okay, they're assertive. So they know how to assert the energy. They'll come out and bring shit out to the table, let you know what it is. But even though they can be very highly um, animated, Okay, go to great lengths. Okay, go on and on. These people can also, about 15 minutes later, come back down to earth, you know, and just leave it as what it was. A lot of times, with this, these people, they would want to argue with you. Um, just to get shit out on the table that they said what they had to say, okay? And you could have did the most worst, craziest shit to them. And they still would probably still deal with you because they know how to deal with shit. These are the type of people that can go through so much shit, go, be under a lot of pressure. And this is not even in a relationship either. It could be a relationship, but it could be on their jobs, on their careers, Owning their own business. They can deal with a lot of pressure and a lot of stress. And these people can manage very well, even though they are stressed. They know how to manage under pressure. They know how to do it. But they very well um, can come down off that um, high octum energy. And just be able to um, still be able to vibe with you. You see what I'm saying? Because it's all about bringing it out, letting you know what it was. Let you know how I felt. Didn't like it. Don't want the shit to be done again. Boom. Okay. Shit is regular again. A lot of times with a lot of signs, it's not like that. But with them, it can very well be this way. Even though it seemed like it was crazy early on in the day. But later on, they came back down. So just as fast as they got upset, because they can be very temperamental. Just as fast as they got upset, it's just as fast as they can just come back down off of that high. Okay? These people are very... um competitive okay um they don't like losing very sore losers okay so if it is um on a job okay these people could be on a job and be wanting a position wanting to be the manager be the boss or um being the executives and um if they fall short, they will be annoyed. They will be aggravated. They will feel several types of ways because they're all about winning. They're all about winning at all costs. They know how to fight to get to the top, okay? These are the type of people that um, know how to get it out the mud. They know how to survive. They know how to maneuver. They know how to decipher, how to move in this area. This is why these people would do very well in being entrepreneurs, having their own business. The thing with them is this, though. The thing with them is this. 
they are very good at starting many different things because they have several different talents. So they can start off something. But their difficulty is finishing it, okay? So you start a business, getting it kicked off, shit looking good, shit looking all right. These people will probably drift off a little way. Things go on, things take on. I'm sorry, things go on and things take place in their life. And they don't follow through with what they started. So what they do need to do is just figure out what it is that they're fully passionate about, what it is exactly that they do want. But the thing with them is they know the shit that they want, okay? It's just obstacles in their way that drifts them away. So, just think to yourself what it is that you're going to focus completely on and do it one by one. So, if it's this, it's this. If it's that, it's that. And that is just it. But make sure that you let it bloom to its full potential so you can see the full fruition of what you put into it, time and energy. These people know how to assert themselves. So they'll put in that hard work, that hard dedication. You know, they don't care. They can be even workaholics because they're all about um, making that money. they all about going out there and getting it, okay? I am a boss. These people are bosses, men and women. They are bosses, okay? And... When an opportunity arises, these people will jump on it. If they're not afraid to jump on it, they're not afraid of conflict, they're not afraid of a lot of shit. These people ain't afraid. So what they do need to do is though is just let it go through all the way. Don't fall back when shit, you know, don't fall back. Go through with it completely. That's it. Go through with it completely. You start a business. Okay. It's popping off. It slowed down. It slowed down. It slowed down. Still keep going though. Still keep it going. That's it. That's all. So what else can I say about Mars and Aries? Um, these people definitely um are fighters. Okay. They do not like it when people talk about their uh Husbands, wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, family, friends, or children. These people will um, become a certain kind of way, okay? They'll be at you. You can't just talk about their kids. And I don't give a damn if their kids get on their nerves every single day. You would think their kids didn't get on their nerves ever in life because they're going to be at you. They're going to be at your motherfucking head. Ready to take off your damn head, okay? So you ain't going to be able to do all of that with them. On top of that, these are definitely the type of people that you will not be able to um, control. You can't control them. They feel like they are a boss. So you can't control a boss. That's not going to even work out, okay? But these people um, can be on jobs, okay? Work nine to fives. These people can... Um, also, just be on a career and really feel like they should just be doing more, okay? With inside their cells, they feel like no matter what, I am destined for greatness. I'm destined for something more. They believe it inside their souls, men and women. They know that they hold um Great gifts, great abilities. They know that it's something with inside them that they do need to um, bring out to the forefront. These are also people that can expire, uh, sorry, expire, inspire somebody, okay? They can be an inspiration because they dealt with a lot of things. And like I said, even though these people can um, 
be very temperamental. They do hold inside of them a lot of tension, a lot of stress. Okay, this is why they become very impulsive at times when they tackle it on where a lot of times other signs, they go through shit and they hold it inside. These people don't hold a goddamn thing inside. If you make them feel a way, they're going to let you know. If they didn't like something, they're going to tell you right now. What are they waiting for later for? There's nothing to wait for. I'm going to say it now. These are these type of people, okay? Um, what else can I say about Mars and Aries? Definitely, these people, um, if they are attracted to you, if they are interested in you, they will come at you, okay? They don't have a problem with being the pursuer, approaching you, okay? If they feeling you, they gonna ask you what's up, okay? What you trying to do? You trying to do this, you trying to do that, okay? These are very well the type of people that you can be chilling with them, having a good time, vibing with them already. And when they ready to um get it in and fuck, these people will be like, I want some dick. Or they'll be like, I want some puss. Like, I'm ready to get it in. They, listen, these people know how to just say shit. And you be like, well, damn. I okay, so these people, they're not afraid, okay? They're just not afraid, okay? They're open to be able to just fully express their whole um, nature as far as that goes, okay? Now, also, with this placement, Mars and Aries, these people could definitely... Um, be real big on giving, okay? And I mean like in a extravagant way that you may say, um, but they can also just find themselves giving, giving, you know, helping and making sure. And sometimes people can take advantage of that, take advantage of that nature of them, just them being who they just genuinely are. People can look at it and just say, hey, all right, well, I'm going to be in it for the ride, okay? So that's something to look out for. However, these people um, do know who they want as mates, okay? So, and they can also find themselves um, looking at other people, even if they're not in a relationship. They can look at other people as potential mates. Okay, because they really pretty much do wear their hearts on their sleeves, whether they know it or not. But these people definitely do have a tendency to do that. They can um, have the idealistic uh, mind to um, just be like, hmm, wonder what's up with her. Wonder what's up with him. You know, mm, maybe, you know, you never know. if You know, they can do this shit from time to time. It's just something that they could just do, you know. But... If they set their mind out to now pursue this, they're going to come at you full force. They're going to be around. They're going to keep coming around, or be around, still talking to you or whatever. You know, they, they're about winning. They are about winning they're very competitive, okay? So now, if they messing with you and you messing with somebody else, they they about to win the battle. Because to them, at the end of the day, I'm the fucking one. I'm the winner, and bitch, I'm the boss. So now, how you going to compete with the boss? See, this is how they look at shit. They look at it this way, y'all. They look at it like this. Um, also, Mars and Aries, women and men, they, they really would just do well in anything that has to do with uh, artistic fields also. It doesn't have to just be um, limited to just being a manager. 
Okay. These people could actually run their own business, have workers that um, work for them. Okay. They feel very much inclined, very much uncomfortable with setting out tasks and giving out orders. Okay. So, these people are going to be very hard if you're messing with a Mars in Aries, man or woman. It's going to be very hard for you to try to tell them what they should do and what they shouldn't do. Because they ain't going for that shit. They don't want to hear that damn shit. Whatever it is they want to do, they're going to do. Period. You don't have to try to convince or try to do some convincing because it ain't going to even work. It ain't going to work with them at all. It's just not. They might look at you like you damn crazy that you even came up with the idea you came up with and they're going to argue with your ass about that. And after they argue, then they're going to want to make up. This is these people. See what I'm saying? And also... Um, these people can very much um, have heated debates with you. Heated debates, heated arguments, and um, they love it when you can just engage in this. A lot of times they look at it like arguing to them is like somebody really cares or somebody really gives a fuck. They look at it like um, it's so much energy that that draws out of an argument. And they're all about war. They're all about fighting. So it's like something, it signals something inside of them that um, even makes them more drawn and attracted to you. So definitely if you somebody that um, won't fight back, won't argue back consistently time after time after time, um, they're going to probably definitely lose interest in you because you don't have a fighting spirit. And they definitely look for that. So now, in a man's placement, Mars shows his love nature. In a woman's placement, it shows the type of man that she's going to be drawn to, the type of man she's going to be attracted to. So with this placement, a Mars in woman is definitely going to be attracted to the type of man that could definitely um, be exciting, be adventurous, be a risk taker. She's also going to want him to be very um, sensual, sexual, and passionate. But in this placement, it's all about the, the physical attack. Like, these people want to get it in. Okay, they want to get in, they want to go rounds, okay? They don't, listen, They it ain't just no one time. If you can do them three times in one night, four times, five times in one night, shit, they going to be thinking about your ass every single day. Every single day because it's like, damn, and if the shit is good, well, it got to be good because if it's whack, then they ain't going to be coming back. See what I'm saying? It, it has to be still linked to that um, you match my energy. You got this physical capacity that I hold too. You see what I'm saying? You just got to have that capacity. But these women will definitely... I went off track. These women will definitely be drawn to um, a man that is a go-getter. Okay? A man that's about his business. A man that can take charge. A man that... Um, can assert himself also, all right? This is what she's going to be attracted to. So now, in a man's chart, like I said, it's going to show his love nature. So this man is going to be very um, driven, very passionate about um, his goals and the things that he sets out that he wants to do out into the world, out into his career. He's also going to be... Um, very highly inclined to wanting to um, act out these things on you also as far as sex. He's going to want um, a freak. <laughs> and so is the woman. The woman's going to want a freak too. You can't be no freak in messing with them because this is the shit that they about. 
this is the shit that amazes them. Okay? Also, these people definitely um, look towards somebody that can um, boost their ego. Okay? They're very much about the, the ego boosting. They want you to look at them and say things to them to make them more and more um, enticed. Or um, looking at you in an enticeful way. They want um, that energy. Very passionate people. Oh my God. They, they want things to be, as far as their relationship, very much um, passionate. Always. They definitely could not be with somebody that did not hold that capacity. Like I said, they would um, lose interest in them because they have to be active also. So they cannot just always just be in the house with you. They want to do things with you. They want to go out. They want to have a good time. They want to have drinks. They want to have food. They want to have fun. They want to turn up. You know, so these people are not going to like... Um, the Demi Downer kind of people or somebody that's very, very emotional. Um, that shit is a turn off for them. It's just not going to work. Um, you're going to have to be a little bit more tougher to deal with them because they're very blunt. The way that they speak, the shit that comes out their mouth, um, the way that they handle situations, the way that they approach things is like that. And like I said, they do not mind. Listen, these are the type of people that if y'all are separated, if y'all broke up, okay, if they still want you, they still at you, okay? If they lost their job, if they want that job, they still at that job, okay? If they were supposed to um, buy a business, okay? open up a business and they got a little space and they said, oh, well, you know, somebody else, they still going to be at it, okay? They're still going to be on it. They're going to see how they can maneuver, how they can get in there, how they can figure it out. These people do not give up easily. They're competitive. This is a drive for them. They have to win. They have to be the one that's going to get that slot, get that spot. If they feel passionate about it, this is what they're going to do. So, if they in a relationship and shit is chaotic as fuck, okay? If they still want you, they are going to have you because they're not going to give up. They know how to put up a fight. They fighters. These people fight. They fight for their families. They fight for their loved ones. They don't give a fuck. This is how they feel. This is what I feel in my soul. This is what I'm passionate about. And I'm coming at it in full force. Period. That's just it. Okay? So, this has been my interpretation of the Mars and Aries, women and men. In future videos to come, I will be going into more depth into the man's love nature and the woman what she's most attracted to. So, be sure to check out my online store. It's Grimy Gear. Okay? So, it's www.grimygear.com. If you need a caterer, be sure to hit me up. I am the chef goddess also at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. If you need my husband to do any work to your home, business, or swimming pool, be sure to hit him up at a Ron Nesbitt 90 at gmail.com. I'm going to have everything in the description. If you need this information, you could click on that. So, this has been a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace, and blessings to you all. See y'all on the next one.